welcome to IS 24's Virtual Science Day. I am Mrs. Amoroso. I teach seventh and eighth grade science. Um, I am very excited to be here today with you to show you how you can extract DNA from a strawberry. Um, many of you have done this with me in the classroom, but today I'm going to show you how with some very common household items you can extract DNA from a strawberry. So first things first, let's go through safety. Do not try this at home unless you have the permission of an adult. You cannot do this unless you have permission, okay? Um, wear protective goggles, wear gloves, wear whatever you need. Um, do make sure you have a clean surface, um, something that won't get ruined if you do spill anything, and make sure you're wearing clothes that you don't mind getting dirty either in case you spill something on you. Okay, so what is DNA? DNA is the short, is the letters that stand for deoxyribonucleic acid. It is the code of life. Inside the cells of every living thing is DNA. You can think of DNA like um, a recipe, a recipe that tells the instructions of how you are going to act, how your traits are, what you are going to do in life. Um, Anything, everything about you is all told through the instructions of DNA. So um, it is genetic and it gets passed on to future generations and it is very important. So why a strawberry? Why not a banana? You could use a banana, you could use any type of fruit, any type of plant, anything. Um, strawberries make it really easy because um, they have eight copies of their DNA and it makes it really, there's a lot of DNA that you can actually grab, which is good. So, um, what do you need? So, materials. Materials. Okay, you need a Ziploc bag and a strawberry. It can be frozen or it can be fresh. If it is frozen, frozen, you have to make sure that it is um, defrosted before you use it. If it is fresh, make sure you take off all the green stuff. Don't, no green leaves or anything on it. Okay, um, second need a two tablespoons of dish detergent. Any type of dish detergent is fine. Two teaspoons of salt. Any type of salt is fine. Um, two tablespoons of water. Three tablespoons of rubbing alcohol. Keep it cold, frozen. Keep it inside the freezer until you're about to use it. Make sure you take it out after you're done. Mine's in ice. So keep it nice and cold while I video. Um, a glass, a rubber band. Um, paper towels, or if you have cheesecloth, that is gonna be your strainer later, and um, a wooden stirrer or um, stick or popsicle stick, something that will grab the DNA for us. Okay, so how do we do this? First, you're gonna take the strawberry in a Ziploc bag, make sure it's sealed tight, okay, because you don't want any of the strawberry juices shooting out everywhere, that wouldn't be good, um, and you're gonna smoosh it. Smush it between your fingers. Smush it, smush it, smush it for about a minute or two until you've broken it down and it looks like a big strawberry juice mess, okay? And this will help break down the cells um, a little bit so that we will um, be able to use the buffer solution to extract them, the DNA. So after you have done that, which I've already done, you are then going to take your extraction solution which consists of two tablespoons of dish detergent, two teaspoons of salt, and some water, which is right here. Okay, make sure the salt and the, and the dish detergent are mixed well. You're then gonna add this into your strawberry juice mixture here. Now, what does this do? Well, the soap breaks down the lipid layer of your cell membranes and your cell wall. The salt breaks down the proteins in the cells that the DNA are attached to. So this will make it easier for us to add little rubbing alcohol and extract the DNA. So you don't wanna make it really sudsy. I know it's gonna be really hard, but you're only gonna just, you just wanna mix it around. You just wanna mix and mix and mix and mix and mix and mix, mix and mix and mix, and it should look like this. Not too many bubbles. Really, you're just looking to make it a nice, soapy, strawberry, uh, mixture okay now once that is done and it looks like this you're gonna take your paper towels or cheesecloth put it around a glass with a rubber band and this is your strainer 
And what is this going to do? This is going to strain out all the big gloppy pieces and leave just the juices. And that's all we want. And then we're going to add the alcohol. And the alcohol is going to make the DNA pop right out of this mixture. Okay? So, take about a minute or so. It's much, much better than the first time. You don't need the whole thing. Just You just want the juices. And that should be good. Okay? Then get rid of that. All right, now we're going to add some alcohol. Now, when you add the alcohol, you don't want to stir it. You don't want to mix it. You just want to like kind of slowly let it go into there. And this will allow it to precipitate. So I don't know if you could see it or not. But where the alcohol and the strawberry mix, you are going to get some gloppy white stuff, and that is DNA. Can you see it? That is DNA right there, right at the top, right on the thing. There is your DNA white, slimy looking, stringy, that's DNA. Now, if you're lucky enough to have a microscope at home, you can take this and put it under a microscope and um, see what it looks like. But that is, my friend, your DNA, okay? So, thank you for viewing our science experiment today. I hope you had as much fun as I did. Um, if you try this at home, uh, make sure you post it to Instagram and IS24, tag IS24 in it, and they will put it on our Instagram, um, IS24's Instagram. And you can also tag me, Mrs. Amoroso24, and I will post it to my Instagram also. This has been awesome. Um, hopefully you have fun. I miss you all. Hopefully we see each other soon. Bye-bye.